One of the nice things about Matrix Chat is that it has built-in encryption. Encryption in Matrix Chat is end-to-end. -end. This means it is handled on the client side. That is, the encryption and decryption of private messages is done directly in your browser or in your smartphone and not even the maintainers of the Matrix servers can read those messages because they don't have the keys. Of course, we still need to trust those maintainers a little bit as, for example, they could roll out a new client with some backdoor to steal our keys. But since Matrix is open source, so this is not very likely to happen. And it's much better than most other chat services offer. So this means that when you register a new account with Matrix, that your browser needs to generate uh, these encryption keys. And while the Matrix server checks your password, it does not get to see these encryption keys. But what happens when you want to add a new device? For example, you were using Matrix Chat on your web browser and now you also want to use it on your smartphone. So for this to work, so there needs to be a way that the keys are transferred to the new device in a secure way. This is what happens with this dialog that pops up when you add a new browser or a new smartphone with your Matrix account. You have two options. Either you enter the keys that you were asked to save when you registered your first device and you choose or you choose to compare the emoji option. When you select the compare emoji option, then you see a set of two emojis on both devices and you need to compare them. Only press the match key when the icons are the same on both sides. If the other device is a smartphone, there's also an option to scan a QR code instead of comparing the emojis. You also need to confirm this dialog on the other device as well. Once this is done, you get the success message. You can also check the status of the devices that you have keys. You can also check the status of the devices that have your keys in the settings. Go to the settings and then go to the security and privacy. And here you see a list of all your devices that have the keys. If you initially skip the verification, for example, when you were in a remote place and did not have access to your main browser where the keys for verification would have been stored, so then you can trigger this verification later in this dialog.